Hey everybody, it's Seth. And uh, I promised myself that I would get more social as far as videos and things like that that I'm posting on social media since that's the thing to do. And um, I was inspired today to post my first. And the inspiration was from a, a, a uh, YouTube link to some Vanity Six footage that was posted in one of the clubs I belong to on Facebook, Vanity Six, Apollonia Six, like appreciation page or fan club by a young lady named Jamila. And um, what inspired me was that there was a little bit of a debate going on about where the footage came from, where it was shot. You know, some people said it was the Ritz in New York. Some people said that it was uh, the Minneapolis Music Awards. And Jamila actually had the right information, which was that it was the 20 Grand Nightclub in Detroit. Now, I'm going to tell you now how I know that this information is true and where this footage came from. Uh, some of the myths are this. It was not shot at the Ritz. It was not shot at the Minneapolis Music Awards. And it was not their first show. Um, as many people that know, at least the ones that follow me on social media, know that um, I did attend uh, Denise's memorial. I met Susan and Brenda for the first time. Um, I went with uh, Jill Jones and Apollonia. And uh, all of us, including with the addition of Jamie Shoup, uh, spent a lot of time together after that for the next couple of nights. And um, me and Brenda actually talked about this footage and I told her that I had had the footage. And it was really interesting because she told me the Vanity Six's first show was at a high school. And then the second show was in New York at the Ritz. And then third show was at 20 Grand in Detroit, which is where this footage is from. Now, this is the way I know where the footage came from. This is the original TV station tape of that footage. Uh, and the way that I acquired it was back when I was a little guy, around 1983, my mother, Malia Franklin, who was a member of Parliament Funkadelic in the 70s, was dating a guy who was a cameraman at a local uh, Detroit TV station. He got fired or let go or something happened. And uh, he, in turn, swiped this master and brought this master to me because he knew I was a big Vanity Six fan even back then. That's how I got it. The second truth is the way that it got uh, all around the internet and on DVDs and all this sort of stuff is that I met a Prince collector back in the mid 90s and I'm and he was in Chicago I was living in Detroit and I met him through one of those Prince fanzines they used to sell like at record stores and stuff like that he had a lot of footage of Vanity and Apollonia and the family and things like that most of that stuff that you can now find on these like these DVD compilations of Vanity 6 and Apollonia 6 but back then I had never seen it so we traded. I traded him a copy, a VHS copy of my VHS copy of the master tape for some um, of the other things that I had never seen. So that's how, I don't know what happened to it after it got to him. Obviously it got out in the world further. That's how it got out. The other truth about this is the show is not in its entirety. During the end of the show, like around Girl Answers and um, Nasty Girls, there are chunks of the songs missing because I guess the cameraman was repositioning himself or doing whatever he was supposed to do. So unfortunately, what you see as far as those big cuts is the way that it is on the master. Now, I finally got this uh, master tape put directly on a DVD probably about 10 years ago. And um, since then, I have not uh, shared it with anybody, given it to anybody. Because I always thought, for whatever reason, that these me keeping these things, there would be some deeper, bigger meaning to me keeping them. And, um, you know, those things might be coming to fruition of there being a reason why I kept all this stuff. But um, there you go. That's the mystery of that Vanity Six footage and where it came from. It came from me 
and a old TV station master tape from 1982 in Detroit. Also, one other truth I need to add about this. This tape, this show is not taped in its entirety, meaning that there are cuts in the tape where the cameraman got different positions during the end of the show, during it for Girl Answers and Nasty Girls. So all of those cuts in the tape, unfortunately, they're in the master tape as well. All right, let's start the show.